Let's just start the fight and let's see what happens here. Come on, Godzilla. We're going to lose this battle because we're going to get pushed off the edge. Oh, come on. No, don't fall. Don't fall off. No. That's the only way we are going to lose, I think. By falling off like that. Don't worry because I now have some fences there to stop me from falling off. Okay, now let's see who will win. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Greetings, Meatbag. The first suggestion of the day is to armor up the Ankylosaurus from the herbivore dinosaurs with spikes on his tail club. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but let's get started right away. So I'm going to scale up this piece of armor right here and have it go along his back. I think that's going to go really nicely with the shape of his body. And then we can add extra spikes there as well if we want. But most of the damage will come from this tail when he swings it round and hits the enemies. So I'm also going to add some spikes to his front here on his head. I feel like that's also going to do a lot of damage, especially to the gorilla who might charge at the dinosaur here. I've also got some coward curls in here. Cowardly curls are going to get messed up very soon. Now, just before I start this fight, 80% of you are not actually subscribed to the channel. So make sure you click that subscribe button if you do want to see more videos. Okay, that's looking pretty good so far. I say we move on to the tail now. And for the tail, I'm actually going to add it so it's uh, like the bone kind of spikes, the bone spikes right here. And I think we should go for... Let's see, what kind of spikes does he have already? I mean, they're pretty straight. So let's stick to just a, uh, a straight bone spike and then make it a little bit longer. Let's see there. This is going to do so much damage to whoever he hits. I mean, he can swing his tail around really quick. Yes, that looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see this in action. Come on. Oh, he doesn't even need to use a tail. Oh, here we go. Wait, it's still alive. What the? The gorilla's still fine. After being impaled with his spikes. Whoa. Okay, he's got to be dead now, surely. Yep, he is down. So it's all up to the cowardly coals, even though they don't attack. Right, use the tail, man. Use that tail. Come on. Um. Well, he's kind of stuck. I really want to see the tail in action. So let's spawn in some more enemies. And hopefully he's going to use it. Oh, there we go. Whoa. The gorilla went flying. Oh, this works so good. Look at them on the spike. That guy hit the rock or something. Hit the boundary of the map. Oh, I feel sorry for the horse, though. She's getting dragged along. Okay, now it's okay. Oh, he died. Okay, I think that's the archers that probably killed him. That was incredible, though. It worked so well. What a great suggestion. Thank you for that. And start the fights. Here we go. Let's get some slow motion action, shall we? Let's see him use that tail. Come on. The arm. Oh, there we go. The armor's also really helping him out in this. I've got two giant shields strapped to the side of him, as you can see as well. So that can really help out the knight got stuck and impaled in the spikes in the back there. So is the gorilla or fella, but I think the gorilla's still fine. Oh, not anymore. That finished him off. Uh, he's been defeated again, but he did really well. All those spikes are really helping him out. Here we go again, but this time I've gave him some tentacles and a little bit of extra armor. So I'm hoping this time around we are going to win this fight, even though technically... The dinosaur is on team two, but it's all good. Okay, here we go. No, he died even quicker that time. What happened? I have no idea. Next suggestion, day six. I don't know why people say day so-and-so. I'm not too sure. But either way, make the armored hydra fight armored goru. So I have quite a few different gurus that I've upgraded, but I've gone for one of the first ones that I made. Now, I think it's a little bit unfair because he does have the tentacles here and that will definitely help him out. Um, so I really don't know who's actually going to win this battle. I'm hoping Goru, but we'll see, I guess. Obviously, the Hydra is a little bit more expensive than Goru. Um, I don't know if that necessarily makes the Hydra more powerful or not. Of course, it has been scaled up, though, this Goru. I think anyway, I'm pretty sure. Come on. Yes, is it winning? Come on. He's done it. Wait, no, there's one head still alive. Look, right there. The other two are down, though. And now, nope, still alive. Wow. It's hanging in there. It is hanging in there. Come on, Goru. Oh, yeah, not to mention he also has four extra arms. So, yeah, that's kind of unfair as well. So, like I mentioned, I do have a lot of different Gorus. Now, if you want to see the quickest battle you've ever seen in your life, then you need to see End Goru. This is my most overpowered Goru. 
And there we go, he's won. <laughs> so I built this guy to basically take on Godzilla. And I think he did end up winning at one point. So that's pretty cool. But look at the state of this guy. So that was very unfair. But what if we bring in the spiked Goro <laughs> that I made a couple of episodes back? This thing is just very strange. It's a little laggy at times. Um, he, he can't really function normally. But just because he's filled with spikes, it means that the Hydra just constantly is getting attacked and going into the spike. So I don't know. Maybe he might actually win. I'm not too sure. Oh, what's happening there? The middle head of the Hydra is glitching out right now. This might be the buggiest fight I've ever done in this game. Oh, it's so weird. This was from another suggestion as well. So it just shows that the suggestions that you guys send in can be very, very quirky and sometimes break my game. Wait, is he what? No, it's just they're broken. Oh, look at this though. If we look at the health, you can actually see that Goru hasn't actually really taken any damage. And I'm guessing that's because they probably can't bite him easily with all those spikes. So that head is dead. That one is also dead. I don't know what's going on with the middle. I, I'm a little confused with the, the health on this animal right here, on this beast. I'm just going to give this victory to Goru here because as you can see, the Hydra is having some major issues right now. <laughs> it's really buggy. All right, congratulations, Spike Goru. You have won. Now, we're not quite done with Goru just yet because the next suggestion says to put spikes on his fists and a giant tentacle. So... This sounds pretty straightforward. I'm going to do it right now. I think I've done something similar before, but uh, basically we're going to give him like Wolverine claws. It will work very well on this character right here because of his punches. So let's see if we can add some extreme spikes. I don't know if I want to go for bone spikes or... Just, you know what? Let's just go for the normal spikes, shall we? I feel like they're going to do a lot of damage. So we'll go for three right there. I am very excited just to see how powerful his punches become now. Okay, that's three spikes uh, on both hands. And then, so just one giant tentacle? I mean, is he going to be okay with the weight of this thing? I'll tell you what. Let's also up the attack multiplier because it's obviously larger. So let's go for four, I guess. See if that works. Um, should I put it? I don't know where to put it. It's kind of awkward. Uh, there, sure. Now fight the Triceratops. Here we go. Okay. Oh, maybe I should add some spikes for when he does that downward motion like that. So on the other side of his hand. Okay, come on. Let's just do like a left hook or a right hook. Oh, I've just realized something actually. His spikes. Yeah, that's not going to work because they're not punching in the right direction. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to edit this. However, the tentacle works pretty well. Nice. Let's try this again. Okay, so the spikes do not work there. Let's remove them and let's put them. Can we... What happened? Let me just do a quick test. So I'm just going to put it on, the, on a finger like that. Does it go in? No, it just stays in the same direction, which is kind of a shame. But don't worry. I have a plan. Wait, how did, how, how did he win that quick? Okay, so here is my plan. We get rid of that. And then we go to animal armor. Oh, no. Let's go to this one right here. Yep, there we go. Uh, we just need to make it go in the right direction. Okay, here we go. I need to think. I'm going to do this. Aha. Yes, maybe a block like this. And then to the side with this one. Okay, okay. And now can we add the spikes? Oh, yes. We have figured it out. Yeah, there we go. And now we're ready. Okay, let's see these punches. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah, we got him. Oh, whoa. Triceratops has gone flying. These things are super heavy as well. The fact that he actually got air like that is pretty insane. Okay, we need a stronger enemy to fight Goru. Okay, so not necessarily a stronger enemy, but there's three of them. I just really want to see these spikes in action when he goes for the punches. Oh, there we go. One spike in his head. Come on. Oh, look at them just punching him. Ooh. Oh, that works so good. Look at that. They are getting messed up from those spikes. I mean, his punches were already deadly, but now with those spikes, it's just insane. Easy win for Goru right there. Oh, oh nice. What about a couple of wyverns? Let's see if there are any match for our Goru right here. Well, oh, no, he's flying. He's flying away. Not good. Wow, that was very easy. Hydra. Oh, this is going to be the biggest challenge so far. I'm going to assume anyway. Come on, go for the punch. Go for the punch. That's it. Look at that. Come on. Yes. Wait, is that? I thought his hand was inside, inside his mouth then. Sometimes he even hits his enemies with those spikes, I think, by accident, which of course helps him out big time. Ooh. Yes. I don't know if he's going to win. 
Oh, <laughs> never mind. He won. It's crazy how just adding a few spikes to his hands and then a giant tentacle can just help him out so much. Next suggestion, day five, Godzilla versus 20 T-Rexes. So we're actually on Godzilla's side today. This is Godzilla. We're going to see what it's like against one T-Rex and just see how much damage Godzilla can do. Here we go. Going in, one clean swipe and T-Rex is dead. So, of course, the next thing we need to do now is get 20 of them in and then see who will win. Now, personally, I think we need more T-Rexes than 20. I know it seems ridiculous and you'd probably think that 20 of them would win. Maybe? I don't know. But I don't think it's enough. Let's just start the fight and let's see what happens here. Come on, Godzilla. You got this easy win. Just keep swiping them. Actually, we're going to lose this battle because we're going to get pushed off the edge. Oh, come on. No, don't fall. Don't fall off. No, that's the only way we are going to lose, I think, by falling off like that. Don't worry, because I now have some fences there to stop me from falling off. Okay, now let's see who will win without being pushed off. Yeah, like all the forces of those T-Rex are just pushing me up against a fence now. Oh, no. It seems like Godzilla is defenseless. He's actually going into the fence a little bit there. You know what? Even though he's being ambushed, I still feel pretty confident that he's going to win. I know that sounds weird. It seems like it's highly unlikely, but I, I still believe. In fact, look how many he's killed. Look at that. Just a pile of T-Rex bodies. One is inside the fence glitching out. Victory, I told you. Godzilla, just an absolute unit who is also bugging out right now. Oh, no. Now, I quickly want to see what it's like with Mecha Godzilla here. Let's see how well he does. Uh, I Actually, I don't know about this one, to be honest. So with these workshop mods, I don't think Mecha Godzilla is as powerful. The creators obviously made him not, not as good as the actual Godzilla. This is interesting, though. Oh, look at those hungry T-Rexes. He's going to go over the fence in a minute. Oh, no, he's dead. No. And what's been revealed underneath is the actual dinosaur that it is. We need more dinosaurs, but not just any dinosaurs. We need upgraded ones. So this is one that I created quite a while back. Let's just get loads of them in. and Hopefully the game won't break on me. There we go. Now, surely we have to win. Three, two, one, start. Oh, <laughs> no. I've assigned them to the wrong team. They're killing each other. Oh, no. Big, big mistake here. Big mistake. I'm just going to... um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Problem solved. Right, here we go. Come on. Godzilla versus upgraded T-Rexes and, of course, just normal T-Rexes here. Oh, we might fall off. They're pushing him away from the fence. Oh, no. He's fallen over. Get up, Godzilla. Get up. I'm worried. I'm worried. Okay, he's moving away from the side. This is good. A lot of the, uh, the dinosaurs are falling off too. He's still going to win this one though. Unreal. Definitely my most overpowered workshop guy I have, Godzilla here. Other than Engor, I think that's probably my most powerful creature out of everything. Just purely for the fact that he also has nukes on his back, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so he's fallen over. But I'm not sure if he's going to fall off the side or not. I hope not. It's hard to see, but he's probably still stabbing them all in there. Look, at he's upside down. Oh no, he's falling. No! Come on! Oh, that's it. I I might regret this. Start the battle. Here we go. Oh, the lag. The lag. There's too many of them. Also, there is so much armor on Godzilla here. I have no idea how many pieces have been used, but it's a lot. Look at that! Jeez! And it's funny because Godzilla probably still is going to win if it wasn't for the fact that he would be thrown off like he's about to be now. Yep, there he goes. Over the fence. And the T-Rex army has won! I just quickly want to see if this Goru can actually win. I'm going to try again. Look how much he is struggling right now with how much Godfire he's under. <laughs> ah... Yes, Goru, get him. Also, I think I must have saved this guy without the nukes on his back. So for that reason, he's probably going to lose. Yep. But don't worry because the nukes are back. Here we go. Easy win. Come on. Yes. I know they don't look like nukes, but trust me, they do a lot of damage. So I'll be very shocked if we lose this one. Come on. Uh-oh. We're going to lose again, aren't we? Wow. Godzilla. Seriously. <laughs> Right, let's try this again. This should do the trick. Come on, please. Let this be the one. Yes! 
finally, we have defeated Godzilla. Now let's try Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. I mean, I think we all know who is going to win this one. But let's just watch it anyway, shall we? Let's see how long the fight lasts for. In fact, we go to the health. Can we see? Oh, oh, look at that. Easy win. Now, don't forget to leave your suggestions below. But on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye.